What's going on? It's Lisa here. Happy Foods. It is Friday, which means it is time to do grocery shopping um, in the parking lot at Trader Joe's. Um, this week, a little chaotic. I had a lot of company in town, and the kids are off from spring break, so I um, did part of my grocery shopping yesterday. I have a video that I'll insert that I did yesterday from Costco, and then um, I just had my mom come over to watch the kids so I can run over to Trader Joe's, so... Not too much time uh, to to go around town um, for one or two little items that'll have to be next week. Uh, most of the sales stuff was continuing from last week because of Easter, so they just uh, made the ad run to I think Sunday. So um, I still could pick up a couple odd and end things, but um, all in all, I'm just gonna grab a few things from Trader Joe's. I grabbed a bunch from uh, Costco yesterday, and. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's see what I get. I love going in Trader Joe's. It, I don't know. It's like one of those places I just enjoy shopping, although nothing's on sale. So, but uh, there's a couple things that we just are particular about that we like the Trader Joe, the one that Trader Joe's has. So let me go in there and then I'll show you what I got from both stores. Back from Trader Joe's and spent thirty seven dollars there. Um, most of it, well, not most of it, but. A lot went towards, I needed some more coffee. Um, we get this decaf organic um, coffee and tea is really heavily sprayed. So I try whenever I can to get organic. I was kind of upset because um, I needed some more black tea for to make my kombucha. Um, I guess I'm going to have to get it at the grocery store or the health food store or something. But they didn't have any organic black tea. So I just got this in the meantime. If I pick some up, I'll just give this to Jen to bring to work or something because we don't drink tea. Um, but um, I got some organic green tea. We do um, use this. You've probably seen it in other videos. I brew it, chill it, and then we use it for our smoothies because green tea is really good for you. So, um, got that for beverages. And then uh, got a few tomatoes, um, 30 cents each. They were nice big ones, so I got four of those. Um, it's portobello mushrooms. We haven't had that in a while. Um, Jen and I will do like a, maybe like a portobello burger or something. It's really, really good. So I'm thinking that for this week. Um, girls really like the cherry tomatoes. So I got some of those. Um, they had asparagus, uh, was like the opportunity buy. And it was $2.50 for this big bunch of fresh asparagus. So I got that. Um, the girls wanted pizza tonight. So I thought this would be, um, they have really good pizza dough, but I didn't want to mess with all that. So, um, it's already kind of late in the afternoon. So I got this. I thought I'd try a lavash, uh, whole wheat. Um, I'm not going to be able to eat it with the wheat, but, um, let's see. Seven grams of protein, six grams of fiber, two grams of fat, 190 calories in a whole one. And they make a nice little pizza. I like kind of the thin crust because then you get more toppings on it. Um, so they're gonna have pizza. Um, one of the things they really like is the Trader Joe's French fries, and I make a lot of the fries, sweet potato fries, and regular fries myself. But these are really good just to have on hand because sometimes there'll be a dinner that Je I'll make just for Jen and I. I know that the kids really aren't gonna be interested in, so I have kind of like little go-tos that I know I could just put this in the oven, give them some veggies, some beans, and they're good to go. Um, baby carrots for snacking. And then I got, I tried two new things. One of them is this coconut creamer. I've never bought it before. Um, I got it because I was thinking it would be nice to try more as like, um, like in a curry or something. This doesn't zoom in well at all, but it doesn't have any fat, five calories and a tablespoon, um, one gram of sugar. Uh, essentially it's like a thickened coconut milk. And I just thought I'd give it a try if I want to just add a little bit to like maybe some lentils and make kind of like a little coconut curry type thing or maybe on the oat, my oatmeal uh, with the banana. I thought that might be good, like a little drizzle. So and I'm going to try it. Here's the soy creamer that we use for our coffee. Oh, hey, got two of them. And then this is a little different. We usually buy the Trader Joe's almond milk. But I saw this and I like that it was our organic unsweetened soy milk. Um, and I got that and also like too that it has um, in eight ounces it has seven grams of protein 
Not that I'm huge on the protein, but I guess just trying to work out and getting more muscle. I thought, gee, that's kind of an easy way if I use some of that in my oatmeal or just a bowl of cereal from Hungry. Um, so I thought we'd try it. Um, one other thing I got, so that was that was Trader Joe's, so uh, that was uh, like $37 some change. Then yesterday I went over to Publix. I was in the mood for like a kind of like Asian -y, um, pasta dish, and it was really, really good. Make a sauce, it's very simple with uh, peanut butter, soy sauce, water, and honey or maple syrup and thin it down with water. And I put it over just regular noodles and just to be real simple, I just, they had this coleslaw mix on sale for like a dollar, it's just shredded cabbage, red cabbage and carrots. And I threw that in there with some broccoli that I bought from Costco. And then I thought I'd try this, I was gonna get tofu and I never tried these. Um, so I bought one, it was $4 and uh, it's already marinated and seasoned. And I really wasn't expecting it to taste that good, but really, it is awesome. I would totally buy this again. It was very, very good. They had different flavors, too. So we put that in there. Um, had a really nice texture. So um, all in all, and I'll insert um, the Costco video next um, so you can see what I got there. And, um, yeah, so total... Um, Total right here, 37 and five, so that's 42 bucks. So let me show you Costco. Okay, so back from Costco and everything came to $68. Uh, girls really wanted a watermelon, that was $7. Got um, 10 pounds of some apples uh, for $10. Three bunches of bananas that are like $1.40 each. Uh, we got some dried figs the girls like. I think that was like $12. Um, fresh broccoli. Already pre-washed. I love that. It just makes things easy. Um, I think that was $5. And then a bunch of frozen fruits. So this is kind of a big fruit haul here. Uh, to stock up because we are completely out. The girls wanted some strawberries. So we got the organic ones. We got this antioxidant blend and then the mango, all organic. And each one was roughly about $10 each. So uh, that's where the chunk of the cash went to. But um, yeah, now we're stocked up. Uh, everybody's left and we're just filling the house with some goodies. Right, McKenzie? Yeah. So anyways, that's what we got from Costco. And I'll probably try to hit up Trader Joe's possibly tomorrow. So that was the Costco haul yesterday and Trader Joe's today. So total $110, which is a little more than usual, but um, the teas and the coffee, I don't buy that weekly. And then just uh, a lot of the frozen fruit and, and stuff that I bought uh, from Costco uh, will last us longer too. So I just wanted to replenish um, after a busy week and um, get things... Um, stocked up in the house so anyways thanks so much for watching remember to always eat happy foods shop happy foods and um i'll leave the links down below if you'd like to follow me on instagram and facebook i love to have you over there and um have a great great weekend so i'll catch you later my friend ciao